So I want to start off this video with a little bit of a disclaimer. Now hear me out, let's set the scene. It's like a month ago. I go onto oldnavy.com and place an order for a YouTube video. Then all of a sudden on TikTok, everywhere I turn I'm getting tagged in comments on TikToks from people saying that Old Navy has recently started cutting back on their plus sizes. And if you don't remember, Old Navy last summer-ish released this entire campaign called Bod Equality where they carried all of their straight and plus sizes in store. They extended their sizing, I believe, on top of that, and instead of having like a plus size section and a straight size section, they decided it was just all gonna be one section. And honestly, it was kind of revolutionary for like the sort of mainstream fashion industry. And I recommended it a ton. I did a video inside the fitting room. I saw so many mid-size plus size creators that I love and admire promoting them and recommending them to their followers. And so when I heard a few people say that their workout apparel was really amazing, I was like, perfect, I'll order some for a video. And fast forward to now, it's kind of still up in the air as far as like what exactly is happening, but as far as Old Navy says, they are cutting back plus sizes in the stores that don't sell very well in like 75 stores in the US. However, I will link a TikTok down below where a girl went on their website and basically created a spreadsheet of all of the stores that don't carry plus sizes in stores because I guess it says it on like the website. So anyways, all of that to say, I ordered this stuff before I knew Old Navy was cutting back on their plus sizes in store. They do still, as of right now, carry all of their plus sizes online, but it's just a huge bummer because I know for a lot of folks, they like to be able to go in and try on stuff in the fitting room. And Old Navy was like always the go-to place that I recommended for plus size people. So it just sucks. But I did order quite a bit of stuff. I have two bags full of workout apparel that we're gonna try out today. Like I'm gonna get Get my money's worth. So I'll do a little bit of a haul, try everything on for you. Everything is gonna be linked down below as always. And hopefully Old Navy continues to carry plus sizes online, but this is just like a huge step backwards and it really sucks. I understand it's for reasons, but it just doesn't leave a good taste in the mouth. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna try not to let that affect my decision and my opinions on all of this stuff. But yeah, man. That's a real bummer. So we have a lot of stuff to try on, a lot of outfits, so let's jump in. First up, this was actually the set that made me want to create this video. It was probably like someone I saw on Instagram or something like that, but I love gingham. I think it's so cute. And so I found this set, which by the way, some of these items are gonna be like light support, medium, and then I think like extra or high compression or something like that. But I'll make sure to list the items on the screen. So first we have this long line sports bra. It's really, really cute. The only thing is that in person, it's much more of like a cream ivory color and black than a white. I thought it was gonna be like just straight black and white, but still really cute. I got it in an extra large. I'm pretty sure every single thing in this entire haul I ordered in an extra large, just so you know, I'm around a size 16. This is called the Light Support Power Chill Long Line Sports Bra, and I actually got it for $19.20. I think there was like a coupon that I used or something like that. And then to match, this is the Extra High Rise Bike Short. These are also the Power Chill, and how how cute is this? It has like the little crisscross in the front, which is very popular and trendy right now. These have an eight inch inseam, which is amazing. And I got these for $11.20. So very affordable when they're originally what? Like $20, $15, something like that. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this on. This is very much up my alley. So we had to start with it. So let's do it. Okay, we're starting this off absolutely wonderfully. I love this. I think it's so cute. I would 100% wear this as like an outfit. I would maybe throw on like a white button up over this and like my Doc Martin sandals and totally wear this out. Like it's so cute. It's extremely comfortable. It's very soft. I do love the pattern. And honestly, I think what's the best part about these is they're super versatile. So like I would wear these bike shorts with an oversized t-shirt. I would wear it with like a black sports bra white, any color, any kind of like solid color on top would look super cute with these. And then with this tank, it's very much like a tank top and not necessarily like a sports bra, you know? So you could easily wear this with like jeans if you wanted to as like an actual top. You could wear it with black bike shorts, black leggings. Again, any kind of like solid color, so freaking cute. I would 100% wear this in the summertime as like a tank top with jean shorts. 
how adorable. I do love the crisscross in the front here. I think it's a really cute touch. And as far as I can tell for the bike shorts, you can't see through them. Like I can't see my underwear. I did wear dark underwear on purpose today because I wanted to be able to see. So like, sorry if that's graphic, but I can't see my underwear at all. So far, I'm pretty impressed. And this was a very affordable set. I'm still, keep in mind, keep the energy that like I'm still angry with Old Navy throughout this, but this is impressive and cute. My only, like my very, very, very small critique for this as a set together is just that this tank, I would like prefer for it to be a little bit shorter so that you can see a little bit more of like the crisscross. And I don't know, like I feel like you need that sort of perfect amount of stomach showing, which like this is a lot more coverage. So if you were into that, go for it. But if I could, you know, get picky here and have one little thing be different, it would just be that the tank was a little bit shorter, but I could just kind of like tuck it up a little bit. But how cute is this? I'm gonna give it like a nine and a half out of 10. Absolutely lovely. Like what a great way to start it. Let's keep going. Next to kind of get a lay of the land. Cause honestly, I, I don't think I've ever tried any old Navy workout clothes before. I wanted to order just like a go-to for me, which is a black workout outfit. So we're talking like black sports bra, black leggings. And so the sports bra that I ended up choosing, because I do usually go for a little bit more of like a long line. And this one is called the Light Support Power Soft Textured Rib Sports Bra. I got it for $24. And it definitely has like a little bit of padding in the front here, which I do think the pads are removable. Yes, they are. And it's just like a basic kind of everyday workout sports bra, but it's also like loungy. And then of course, we have a pair of black leggings. I feel like that's just how you know if a line is good or not, you know? And these are a high-waisted 7 8 legging. They're literally called the high-waisted power press 7 8 compression leggings. They don't feel that compressive. In fact, they feel like really, really stretchy. But also I do think old navy sizing does run a little bit big, but I don't really need any more compressive leggings. I have so many from Girlfriend Collective. So like, I'm fine if these are a little more loose and comfy. I got these for $12 on sale, so pretty cute. And and like, yeah, we just need to do like a basic black outfit just because it's like a go-to classic and not everybody likes, you know, loud patterns or colors. So this is gonna be like a good test to see if we're on the right track. Okay, um, yeah, this is cute. I'm into this. You just really can't go wrong with like a black set. So I'm really glad I decided to go with something more simple just to test it out. So the bra is great, really comfortable, definitely enough room in the chest. And I feel like even if you had a bigger chest than me, it's still pretty stretchy and you could, you know, definitely have some more room. <laughs> I do like this little spot in the front here that's kind of just like it provides a little bit more cleavage coverage for when you're working out, but it is a light support bra. So it's not really gonna like hold everything down. Like if I went jogging right now, things would be bouncing. But I really like this and it does come to like a 7 8 length and actually all of the leggings that I tried on and ordered for this video today were 7 8 I don't think I noticed any full length leggings, at least any that I wanted to buy, but I really like this. And for the leggings, they're definitely too big, at least to be like a compressive legging. So like I said in the beginning, I don't really care if it's like super duper compressive. These would be more of like a loungy legging for me, but if I wanted them to be a more athletic wear, actually wearing them to workout type of legging, I would need to size down to a large. So keep that in mind, but really, really cute. Simple, classic, kind of sexy, dare I say. So I'm very into it. I'm gonna say like nine out of 10, really good. Next we have a very popular moment and it is an exercise dress. Now I have never worn an exercise dress before ever, I don't think. And I've seen a few people that I follow on Instagram recommend this specific Old Navy athletic dress. So this is a really pretty kind of like dark smoky teal color and it does have some shorts built in, which is a must for me. I am like so, so, so sensitive to chafing so I'm very curious to see if these built-in shorts are gonna prevent that. This is called the Power Soft Sleeveless Shelf Bra Support Dress for Women. It was $52, so definitely the most expensive thing in the haul by far. I'm pretty sure this was like the only thing that wasn't on sale, but yeah, I've been just kind of into the sort of athleisure look lately, so we're gonna try this on and see what it looks like. If it's $52, it better be my favorite dress I've ever tried on. All right, here we have the dress, and I am pleasantly 
pleasantly surprised with this. The shorts are definitely long enough. I could wear them all day. It's basically got like a full unitard underneath, which is amazing. It also has a shelf bra on the inside, which is incredible, but I'm just noticing right away that this is too big. I would recommend sizing down in this if you're in between sizes, but it's still so super cute. This is definitely expensive. Like it's the most expensive thing. And it was the only thing that like wasn't on sale. So I don't know if it's like one of their best sellers or for whatever reason. It comes in a lot of different colors too. So I'm definitely gonna exchange this for a size large and wear this around. It's super cute. And it's everything you need in one. Like you don't have to grab a pair of bike shorts, put them on underneath. You don't have to figure out what bra to wear underneath. Like it's just everything. It's the shelf bra, it's the shorts, it's everything built in already. Like it's an entire outfit. So I kind of love that. I was pretty nervous about the shorts and how they were gonna perform uh, for an anti-chafing aspect. And I'm actually really pleased. So this is really, really cute. Honestly, not even gonna take off the points that it just runs a little bit large cause I'm gonna exchange it for my correct size, but like 10 out of 10, very pleased. Who knew that I was gonna become an exercise dress girly, but here I am. Next we have a cute set that's another pair of leggings. And this one is more of like a kind of polka dotty sort of Dalmatian print set. And it's got like the cute matching bra with the leggings. This bra is a medium support bra. So it's a little bit different than the other ones I've tried so far. It definitely has like thicker straps. It's adjustable, we'll get into that. But this is called the medium support power soft adjustable strap sports bra. It comes in a size extra small to double XL and then I think they have like a separate one for plus if I'm not mistaken. I got this for $14.40 on sale and yeah it's cute enough. It's definitely not super long line but it does have like some built-in cups and like the ever so slightest amount of padding but not removable so we'll see about that and then the matching leggings which I'm pretty sure are the same ones as the black ones but they do feel a little bit different. These are called the extra high-waisted power soft hidden pocket 7 8 lengths legging for women. These were $22 40 so not bad at all and like really really cute I actually love this this is like probably my second most look forward to set when I place this order so let's see what it looks like yeah I'm obsessed with this it is absolutely the cutest I love this print I love this bra this bra is like very unexpected I was kind of thinking eh, it's gonna be a little bit too short I don't know how I feel about it but I love this I love the adjustable straps I will say that I have them on like the absolute lowest setting so you probably could wear them a little bit tighter if you wanted it to be that really compressed held in kind of feel but I just really like the way it sits on my body when it's at the loosest but here's what the back looks like so stinking cute so the bra is like immediate 10 out of 10 for me I love it I can't wait to wear this set I will size down in the leggings because I can already feel them sort of rolling down it's interesting because Old Navy sometimes I order Old Navy things like this for example this top is an extra large if it's me perfectly but then the leggings like I have other things in Old Navy that are an extra large and they're like borderline too small but then these are too big so anyways that would be a good reason to offer things in store <laughs> Old Navy if you're listening because then you can try it on and you don't have to run into this issue but regardless they're really cute I'm gonna size down in these and they're freaking comfortable they're like that very moisture wicking material they are a 7 8 length again so if they were just a little bit more compressive up here and like I was confident that they would stay up because the second I do like any kind of workout in these leggings they're coming down but once I get the leggings properly sized and you know exchanged and everything I'm gonna be wearing this all summer long. I literally can't wait. Next up we have kind of like a less of an athletic set and more of a kind of loungy set but it was under activewear and it's this cute kind of like almost tie-dyed greenish bluish set but yeah it doesn't feel like super moisture wicking which sometimes that's honestly what I prefer anyways like I don't need to have you know a, a wetsuit when I work out but I did like that this was more of a long line so this is called the light support power chill long line sports bra tank for women. It was on sale for $12.80. And then the shorts are the same as the gingham ones I showed in the first look. This crisscross, really cute, super high-waisted. They are called the extra high-waisted power chill crossover hidden pocket biker shorts for women eight inch and seam. Oh my god, that's the longest name ever. Got these for $11.20. So really affordable little outfit and I'm really excited about this. This is just so stinking cute. And yeah, now that I have it on, I'm like, okay, yeah, it was exactly the same as the first set, the gingham 
denim set, but really, really cute. Definitely gonna hang on to this for summertime and just for like easy things coming up where I wanna run out to like an appointment or I want to, I don't know, like run out to the grocery store or something or like be at home and not have to change before I go like easily adaptable loungewear slash athletic wear, if that makes sense. Like I could do a workout, but then I could like go somewhere afterwards. But also if I even wasn't doing the workout that day, like it's a, it's an outfit is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> You would think after doing this for this many years, I would come up with like better ways to word things, but just, it's just not my thing. But regardless, like it's just a cute outfit on its own and just throwing on like some slides with this or some white sneakers and like your little cute bag and some sunglasses, like you have an outfit. So that's what I think I love the most about this set and then the gingham set, like it's very versatile. So if you're on the market for something that's like a little less for just straight up working out in and more for like just wearing a cute set, I would definitely recommend these. I do love the color. Like I think it's really cute and the pattern is pretty. I don't really know how I feel about this sort of like, I don't know. I thought it was all tie dye, but there are like leaves in here. I don't love that. I wish it was kind of just tie dye, but still so super cute. It's got that same kind of like high neck on the tank and it's just really cute. Got a built-in bra. I think I mentioned that the first time, but like the shelf bra, incredible. So if you're like me and you just feel comfortable wearing a shelf bra, I'm all about shelf bras like that's my favorite thing ever. The less bras I have to wear in life, the better, but I do need that sort of like layer underneath of sweat protection, let's be honest. So yeah, this is 10 out of 10. Absolutely love it, so cute, definitely keeping it. Next for another leggings set, this is the maybe cutest pattern for like a workout set I've maybe ever seen. And it's this kind of like psychedelic, sort of like marbled print and it's just so cute. So this sports bra is similar to other ones that I've already worn. It's the Light Support Power Soft Long Line Sport Sports bra for women. I got it on sale for $16 and it's got the removable pads. I kind of am really into the sort of higher neck sports bras lately with like the cute racer back in the back and then the matching leggings to go with it. I'm so excited about these. I'll be curious to see if my underwear shows through these, but these are called the high waisted power soft seven eighths length side pocket leggings for women. I don't know if I've had one yet with the side pocket, so we'll see. So yeah, really, really love this. And I've just been really really into sort of lighter colored workout sets lately. So we'll see what this ends up looking like. This one is so stinking cute. I knew I was gonna be obsessed with this pattern. It's so adorable, but I will say, just because I have to be honest. I do wish that these leggings were a little bit more high-waisted and a little bit more compressive. And I don't know if it's like because I've just been ruined by Girlfriend Collective. You all know how much I love Girlfriend Collective. I ride so hard for them. Um, and like, honestly, their leggings are the most compressive, like stay put kind of leggings I've ever worn. Almost to the point where like, if I'm lounging, I can't really wear them because they're, they're really just for workouts. Cause they're compressive. Like they do their job, you know? So. So I, I don't know if that's like ruining me on this. I shouldn't compare the two, but I do wish that these were just a little bit higher and like a little bit more snug. So I don't know if like sizing down would be a good idea in these because they fit my legs perfectly. And that's something I guess I didn't even really think about with the last pair, the more kind of like Dalmatian pair. These do fit differently than those by the way, but in the legs, it does actually kind of fit great. It's just like a little bit too big in the waist. So I don't really know. I don't know, maybe this will just be more of like a cutesy kind <laughs> think of some kind of occasion where you would wear a cute workout set, but you wouldn't really work out that hard. Maybe like a hot girl walk with a friend. You're like, hey, you wanna go meet up and go for a walk? Like that type of thing. And less of like a, let's go to a boxing class or something where we're gonna be moving all over the place. Cause like likely these will ride down. So just keep that in mind, but still such a cute set. The material feels great. I don't think you can see my underwear. Why am I doing this on the internet? Like why? But I don't think you can see my underwear through them. It's like a good cropped length. So if you're into that, great. It has some pockets on the side so you can like slide your phone in. Although I don't know, like phones keep getting bigger and bigger and they look like iPads these days. So like maybe an iPhone like 10 or less would fit in here. I don't know, still really cute though. And love the same tank that I wore before. It's like kind of the most common one in this haul and I actually have another one coming up here. But really cute, honestly, like nine and a half out of 10. Great outfit. And last but not least, we had to do a warm brown set. I um, have 
warm brown sets. I actually have like a legging set and then I have a bike short set and then I have a sports bra. Like I have a lot, but I just can't say no. It's like my favorite color of all time. So I decided to go for the same bra, the same long line power soft bra, light support. It was $20 on sale. And I just thought it would be so, so cute with this pair of shorts. And this pair of shorts is different than the other ones. These are called the high-waisted power soft side pocket biker shorts for women with a six inch inseam. And I'll be really curious to see how these fit with the six inch because typically most of the bike shorts that I wear are like a seven or eight or even nine inch inseam. And sometimes that's just like a little bit too long. And I do like the look of a shorter short, but I've tried on ones that are like five and four inches and they're just way too short to work out in. Like they just roll up. My thighs just send them right back on up where they came from. So I'll be curious to see if like the six inch is the sweet spot where it kind of gives you that like shorter short look but like you don't chafe in it. Does that make sense? So let's hopefully end this on a good note and try on my favorite color of all of it. I just can't get enough brown right now, as you can see by my shirt. So I better love this, let's find out. Last but not least, we have the little brown number and it is so, so cute. I do like that it has the pockets in the sides. I do feel like the shorts are long enough. The shorts to me kind of feel the same as the shorts that were underneath the athletic dress. They're just like a little bit tighter and they're so cute. I will say, beware if you're into super high rise stuff like me because I hiked these bad boys like way up when I first put them on and it was camel toe central so just keep that in mind there's like a perfect seam right here for the camel toe I think it's okay where I'm standing right now but yeah just be careful not to hike these up too high or at least in this color and the other thing is with the bike shorts it's just part of like wearing this material but if you do wear granny panties a lot of the time like me <laughs> or like not g-strings or thongs or whatever you are gonna be able to see your underwear pretty well but overall a really cute outfit love the tank I would say by far I mean I ordered the most of this style of tank but I think it's my favorite it's like really comfortable got the built-in shelf bra it's moisture wicking it's long enough to be a tank top but you could like tuck it up if you wanted to be shorter I love the color I will definitely be hanging on to this this is going to go in the rotation for my hot girl walks routines absolutely and like I'm sorry I just can't say no to a brown set like Call me crazy. This is like my third brown set, but I just need them all. Like they all serve individual purposes and I need them all. So I'm honestly pleasantly surprised with how the majority of this went apart from like a couple sizing things, which like is very normal and like things that are easily fixable. You know, I can just exchange them. Like I'm gonna keep the majority of this stuff, which kind of rarely ever happens. And I literally can't wait to wear all of these. So cute. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know your thoughts on the whole Old Navy plus size debacle. If you have any like TikToks or anything you recommend, definitely let me know down below. I would love to kind of do more research on this. Again, everything that I tried on in this video will be linked in the description in case you want to check it out. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you all of my love and I will hopefully see you very soon in my next video.